Hello and welcome to the next episode of Day Z Let's Play. Uh, well, I hold up here the night. I managed to find myself something to help me uh, deal with anything that came in through the front door. They must not know how to climb yet, which helps. Sun is rising. The radio tower is my destination. So let's um let's head out from the hospital. That's what I assume this is. Or at least some sort of medical centre before whatever happened happened. Hmm. It was damn cold last night. Absolutely freezing. I'm hungry and I'm damp. <sighs> um, somebody been through here. I have, it's my game. I have more makeshift bandages. A can of baked beans. I'll get rid of the rifle scope. I'm not going to need that anytime soon. I don't even have a gun. What we're going to do is eat some of our. <laughs> I'm a zucchini. Mmm. Raw vegetables. Lovely stuff. Could do some chocolate. Still hungry. I'll eat some more zucchini. I'm going to search for some proper food. Ah, I did nothing. Okay. Alright. We'll be ready for them them zombies now if they try and chase us. Haha. <laughs> yeah. She's big and tough now. Well, we desperately need food. And I don't have anything that can open my can of beans. I don't have any, I don't have any sharp in, but handcuffs. <laughs> Somebody struggled. A messy death. More than like. And a Karenia. Huh. Peaches. Again. <laughs> Food that I can eat, but I can't get into it. It's just my luck. Um, something tells me that will be much better than this baseball bat at dealing with zombies. Put it into our hands. Yeah. Much better. Huh. Maybe some wellies would be a good idea. Especially if I'm going to be running left and right. But my hiking boots are comfortable. However, a hard hat would make more sense, especially if I'm going to be getting clobbered in the side of the head. Let's push 
push on further into the town. Oh, yes. I know I'm not incredibly thirsty, but it helps. Looks like this place was abandoned in a hurry. Is that a gun? Ah! <laughs> a Sporter 22. I've never fired a rifle in my life. Well, no time like the present. Huh, it might come in handy, especially to deter anything coming near me. We just have to find some ammunition for it. A banana. High in energy. Lots of sugar. That should help stave off the, the hunger. Yes, now I am just wet. Although I will not be taking the rotten fruit. That could be problematic. eerily silent. I don't like it. I'm used to the hubbub of the city. Not this dead silence. That's not creepy. What the world? Bleeding. Ah. Christ. Ah. Got me. Hmm. Well, I didn't even hear him coming. Don't teach me to be complacent. Wow, that hurt. But I feel a lot more comfortable in my ability to fend them off now. It will take a while to get used to, but I'm sure I can get better. I'm hungry again. Seems all that fighting. Certainly <laughs> giving me an appetite. Seven six two ammunition. Well, of course, it won't go in the two two. Huh, gloves. I hope that's not my hands getting bitten like it just did. Well, we'll keep hold of the 762. You never know. We can find a rifle just lying around in someone's house discarded. Who knows what we'll find if we ever see uh, anything military or police. There's another survivor there. Behind you! Behind you! There's a zombie! Oh, shit. I'll get it! I'll get it! Hey, thanks. Here, I'll get him, I'll get him, you're okay, I'll get him. I'll Wow, well, you certainly seem to know what you're doing. <laughs> well, uh, how are you? I'm good, thanks. A um, little bit creeped out by all of this that's going on. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? My name's Sean. Where are you headed, Airfield? 
Um, I have no idea where uh, I'm going. Are you new to it or? Very new. <laughs> here, follow me and the to your future. Thank you. Get Thank you very much. It is not far away. Well, let's go. Adio. Come on. Follow me, put your fists up so you can run faster. When your fists are up and you run, you can run faster. I suppose that makes yeah. Follow me, the airfield for five minutes. Away. Some kind of sense. Obviously, he seems to know what he's doing. Ah, well, there's the police. He's got a shotgun. taking me to an airfield. Can we get a plane? Can we leave this place? Oh god. I know I shouldn't have started running with this guy and my gut instinct told me not to. And now I'm being chased. Well, hopefully I can outrun whatever that is. It's still coming. <laughs> it's still following us. Oh. Uh, we might have the radio tower up there. Get a gun for you. A uh, good gun can spawn up there. Sometime before we head to the airfield. Oh well, that's that's where I'd uh, I'd figured I'd head anyway. So that that sounds like a good idea. All right. Well. I wonder how long he's been here. Whoa, it's just getting closer and closer. Let's not stop again. I wonder how long he's been here, if he knows where he can find guns, just so casually. Okay, leaving the road and heading off into the woods. Is this a good idea? just attracting too much attention. So, I stopped to um, to check just exactly what I had on me, because I was starting to, to stitch running up this hill. And I seem to have lost my new friend. He did say... Something about the airport. <laughs> I have no idea where that is. I don't even know what town this is. I don't even know where I am. Oh, well, I've got an axe. I've got some, some food and some water. Well, some spite, a can of spite, tasty stuff. So I'll um. I head towards the radio tower. I imagine it's somewhere up this way. Do you think there could be anything in that barn? Let's check it out. Let's get out, old trusty Delilah. Let's see how things go.
Ah, there it is. Well, that's what I've got to head towards. What's that? Spaghetti. Okay. Spaghetti. This. What is that? An SKS? Well, that'll certainly be better than my, um, 2-2 sports rifle. I wonder... I wonder if I can't load some in. Huh. What do you know? This is such a strange feeling. Having a gun in my hands, I haven't had a gun since the last time I played Airsoft. <laughs> Feels totally different. Shotgun rounds. I'm gonna need shotgun rounds. Well, I've got. 20 bullets for this. Maybe I should find some of the former inhabitants of Chernobyl. And test the test my aim. I don't imagine it's going to be very good. Hmm. Well, we know the radio tower's up there, so that's where we'll head. Deeper into the woodlands. However, we need more immediately consumable food. A sickle. On the hard hat. Maybe a farmer ran in there. Hello? Anybody in here? I guess not. There's no food, the fridge is empty. Let's try another house. Hello? Anybody home? Motorbike helmet. A head torch. No. I'll keep the hard hat. I haven't experienced night here yet. I don't know how dark this place gets. Oh. Charming. There's something to stave off the hunger for a little while at least. Looks like these people got butchered here. That door's locked. Over the fence. I am getting Bloody scarecrow. Scared the life out of me. I'm getting incredibly hungry. Let's try this place. This is some kind of boarding house. It's probably the place I'd have been staying. <laughs> um, well, I'm kind of glad I wasn't staying here. Very glad. It's a good job we've got a pretty uh, 
high tolerance bar, otherwise uh, I can imagine I'd have uh, brought up what little I have eaten. We're not going out around the back then. So we need to get to the radio tower. Just up through there. But our more pressing matter is food. Well, looks like that might be uh, might be solved. I don't need any more bandages. I'll probably regret saying that, but... Um... A kiwi? Never eaten a kiwi? This is the first time for everything. Huh. Pretty tasty stuff. What else have we got? Powdered milk. Oh, I suppose we could eat it. Wash it down with some Sprite. Because <laughs> I don't have any water to hand. Oh, this is disgusting. Oh, I imagine I'm thirsty. Much better. Much better. Well, we'll check through this house before we push up into the woods and try and find the radio station. See if I can't find a way off this... off this hellhole. Well, looks like we're not going to this house. It's locked. something about holding a gun. It makes you feel powerful. I would be better prepared when I meet those zombies in future. They won't get the best of me this time. I seem to have lost sight of the radio station, but I imagine it's at the top of this hill, it being the uh, highest thing in the area and all. That'll give me a chance to get a lay of the land as well. Scope out any prospective survival areas. I mean, I do, I do quite a lot of camping at home anyway, so I'm, I'm not too bad out in the woods here. Well, I'd rather uh, a place to keep the rain off my head. Whew. God, this is tough going. I didn't realise just how high up I was. Radio tower. Oh god, that sun is bright. Oh, feels good on the face though. Especially when I'm soaked through, might help dry me up a bit. Get up. See if there isn't a workman's call box up here. If there isn't, huh? No, there is a bolt and some more seven six two ammo. Huh. 
Oh. I suppose those will help. Oh. Looks like the ladder's broken, so we can't get up to the top. So that puts that plan of action completely out of the window. Not that there are any. God, that's a beautiful sight. Looks like as good a place as any to hold up for the night. So, the people that live inside of my head. Which way should we go? Should we head back towards the town? See if we can't find our friend again? There is a petrol station down there. We follow that road. Or do we head towards the sun? over the crest of the hills and find out what's in the distance I'll let you decide well, I've got a trusty rifle I've got Delilah, my axe I'm going to see if I can't bed down for the night and let the day wash away Good night, friends.